couple of days before George Floyd died in police custody. There was an incident here in New Jersey, and we're now getting a look at the series of events that did lead to the deadly shooting of an unarmed black man by a white state trooper. Get the f down. Come on, get me another unit. Come on, get me another unit. Today, the mother of that man, 28 year old Maurice Gordon, is talking. She and her lawyer say there was no need for the trooper to use deadly force. News Force Chris Glorioso has been looking into it. He's got reaction to the dash cam video. We do want to warn you, some of the video is tough to watch. My mental health is not doing too good at this moment because my son is not here. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice Gordon's mother breaking down as she addressed this police dash cam video for the first time. It shows how a traffic stop for speeding devolved into a fatal police shooting. Look, I'm trying to help you out. Where, where do you want me to take you to after this? Your car broke down. It was early in the morning of May 23rd. Gordon, a 28 year old Uber driver from Poughkeepsie, was stopped on the Garden State Parkway for allegedly going over 100 miles an hour for the second time that morning. State Trooper Sergeant Randall Wetzel can be heard asking if Gordon feels okay and if he wants to sit in his you wanna, cruiser. You want to sit in my car? Yeah. Okay, with the bugs and all that, come my way. This way, this way, this way, this way. This way. After sitting in that police vehicle for several minutes, the trooper asks if Gordon wants a face mask. Maurice, did you want to wear a mask? Seconds later, suddenly, Gordon gets out of the back seat and struggles with the trooper. You can see through the back window both men grappling. The trooper says he first tried to use pepper spray to subdue the speeding suspect, but then you can see Gordon running toward the police vehicle. Sergeant Wetzel said he believed Gordon was trying to steal the cruiser. After a few more seconds of struggle, you can see both men through the back window again. The trooper fires six fatal shots. The union representing state troopers said Sergeant Wetzel followed his training, making every attempt to de-escalate. It was not until the gun was being pulled from the holster, the point at which he reasonably believed his life was in danger, that Sergeant Wetzel discharged his weapon. Gordon's family lawyer disagreed. I find that extremely convenient that the officer would make this claim that Maurice was reaching for his firearm, but I don't see anywhere on that video evidence that he was reaching for his firearm. Along with that dash cam video, the attorney general also released a 911 recording in which a friend reported Gordon had been acting panicked as he left to go on a drive the day before. He said something about a paranormal experience. The attorney general will now present evidence in the case to a grand jury. Sergeant Wetzel is currently on paid administrative leave. Gordon's mother says she wants him fired. I think um, the police need to be charged. He's not, I don't think he should be on leave getting paid. Chris Glorioso, News 4, New York.